go. What's up, cousin? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo for the month of June 2019? Are we in this space of truly healing our mind, body, and soul, and spirit? Are we in this place of reflection, cousin? Hey, boo head, this is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing, because I'm going to do that, okay? Um, you guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it all in advance, okay? To the uh, returning subscribers, family, did you miss me? Or not? Oh, I miss y'all. <laughs> this is a general. It's not gonna resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. Okay, if that motherfucker shoe is too big, don't try to make it fit because your ass gonna fall. How about that? All right. Um, if it um is resonating with you a little bit, please check your sun, your moon, your rising, as well as your Venus signs. Watch the other videos and see how they resonate. All right. If not, get a damn personal reading. That information is below in the description. Let's get it. All right. This will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Virgo for the month of June. Let's get it popping. All right. Virgo. Your intuitive messages for the month. What I got for you all is patience, collaborations. Purging, push forward, great news, obsessive thoughts, property sale, manipulation, evil eye, overindulgence, purging, your truth, push forward, new love, dreams, astro information, wealth, life path. Star C, New Edition, Catalyst, Was Done in the Dark, Will Come to Light, Children, Telepathy, New Job, New Home, Unexpected Travel, Inheritance, Divine Assistance. Okay? Whew. Come through, Virgo. All right, overall, off the back, the energy that I feel for you guys, someone is afraid of something coming to the light. For some of you all, it's going to be justice for some of you all I'm here. For some of you all, you could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, as well as Pisces came up very strongly within um, the meditation, as well as the sign of Gemini, Cancer, and the sign of Taurus. Um... Some of you guys could be dealing with the situation that was supposed to be hidden. Things are coming to the surface. I feel like for some of you all, you could be a third party to some type of marriage or some type of partnership. Um, for some of you all, you're not knowing that you, some of y'all just have to do with a divine partnership or divine union, some type of past life relationship. And for some of you all, this coming out, this, this, whatever this information is, is the catalyst for you guys actually coming into union because someone had codependency issues as far as leaving a unhealthy situation. Okay. For some of you all um, who have been having issues around a car or a vehicle, I do see uh, for some of y'all, you're really just needing to stay receptive because the universe knows what you need. They heard your cries. They heard, they seen all them tears, Virgo, and they are here to help you. And uh, when it comes to transfer, transportation. So some of you all, it's about you opening your mouth and telling family or friends, especially your soul tribe that are going to be coming forth during this time. People, certain people are going to be sent your way to assist you in the month of June. Okay. Overall energy around the reading, you guys, you guys got two to feel. So I roll with it. Some of you guys could be actually moving forward towards um, either working for yourself full time or for some of y'all this has to do with a new job or some type of career change. Okay. Or promotion within your current career. But I do see movement, movement on up that is going to bring harmony as well as some type of stability around your finances. So finances is looking damn good for the month of June. Virgo, okay? Some of you all, um, some of you all could out some of y'all could be focused on your passions during this time. Some of y'all are also receiving some type of download or some type of esoteric information, okay? Some of y'all are going to, some of you guys are practicing the law of attraction possibly through orgasms or things of that, like some type of, um, it's like the energy that comes or that you're pulling from that sacral chakra in order to have that orgasm. Some of you guys are um, using some type of vision boards or some type of uh, law of manifestation. Some of you guys are dreaming of some type of like sigils or this could also be ties to like Kemet, uh, Kemet like artifacts or Kemet 
This can also be some type of comedic tie, like language. Some of you guys are connecting with your ancestors when it comes to the law of attraction and how to actually manifest and build and grow as well as call to you abundance during this time. Some of you all, um, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, so that it'd be any easily any fire sign. I see a lot of fire around it. I see that some of y'all, someone is coming in. There's the energy of someone coming in to save the day, someone coming in to assist you. Because you have chosen to pull back and focus on your own healing, your mind, your body, your spirit, there's a time where a lot of you guys will be receiving a lot of information. This could be from um like ties that other people have. Uh, with their work, even if you are dealing with someone, some of y'all could be having people come to you to give you information, good or bad, regarding your partner during this time, or regarding someone who you were uh, very interested in, or who you were, who you thought you was actually moving something forward with. Okay, for some of you all, I'm hearing dodge the bullet. Okay, so some of y'all, someone is coming in to assist you in moving forward around moving. Someone's coming in to assist you with moving forward, moving beyond the situation, a moving p beyond moving past a situation that has been a blockage or has been some type of like I'm hearing disturbance as well, disturbance in your life for quite some time. This person could be the mother father of your child, some type of father figure. This could also be an uncle or um, your father, for example. But someone is coming to assist you. Uh, this person could be bringing some type of information, some type of resource to you. I'm also hearing monetary. So someone could be helping you monetarily in order to move, okay? Some of you all really need to take the mask off in order to see see that see that the damn some of you guys are seeing through illusions during this time. You're having a shift in perception. And in having that shift of perception, a lot of things within you internally as well as around you externally is going to die, not literally die. But I definitely see the way that you look at situations, maybe where you were once overextending yourself and helping another person. Some of y'all going to start to see that this motherfucker is just really bummy and y'all won't help. They want to go help the weed man's pockets, period. Some of you all, there's a need for you guys not to see things negatively or accept some type of defeat before you have even given the damn fight a shot like some of you all there's this self-deception that needs to be shifted there's some type of reprogramming of the subconscious that needs to happen during this time baby because some of you guys are seeing things from a dark space it's like if you have this new opportunity here or you have someone coming in to give you positive news or you know saying hey virgo that business loan was approved so you can move forward okay then you have either you or someone else in your energy that's telling you well hell how the hell you gonna run a business and how the hell you gonna structure some shit and you can't even structure your own and figure out what damn account you want to put the damn money in when you get paid until you got to sit up and make 30 minutes of a damn decision you got somebody in your energy that's very negative if this is what you do to yourself Cease it. Stop. You guys are needing to see yourself. And some of you all, though, some of y'all are very, very, very crafty when it comes to some type of manifesting things with water. For those of you who have been trying to pull things to you or connect with the element of water in order to manifest, I do see that what you're doing is working. Keep it up. Okay, for some of you all, this has to do with some type of family dynamic in order for you to receive some type of help or for you to receive, be on the receiving end of receiving some type of abundance or some type of assistance. You really need to shift the way that you stop looking at things from a dark place. If this has to do with the child's father or a child's mother and maybe someone had abandoned you and a child or something to that extent, you need to see the situation with love from a spectrum of love and this love starts within yourself. Only see how it assisted you in growth, how it assisted you in actually being selfless, okay? Because I'm hearing the shift from selfish. So some of y'all, this is whatever this blessing is or was, because I'm I'm hearing children, so this could definitely be connected to some type of family dynamic. You're needing to see yourself as well as others without the judgment, but from a spectrum of love in order to truly shift your perception as well as heal the situation. Because light or there's some type of hidden information that's going to be becoming, somebody's bringing some you some type of information. For some of y'all, this could not even be here within the 3D. Some of y'all, this is your ancestors coming to assist you in making the right decision on a situation when it comes to releasing it or shedding the light on it to show you missing aspects around some type of illusional situation that you've been feeling stuck in. There's a need for you guys to have blind faith. Jump off the damn porch, Virgo. Okay, jump off the motherfucking porch. Some of you all, 
<laughs> Some of you all have been healing. And whatever this information that you are going to be receiving, it is going to bring you a sense of faith, a sense of hope. This sense of knowing. Some of y'all are really getting some type of knowledge. And this could be uh, regarding knowledge on how to astro travel and go to the different realms to get the information in which you need to assist you with healing here. Some of you all are having faith in the fact that what you have put out is getting ready to harvest for you. And I do see rapid manifestations, baby. Abundance is on the way. And you need to know that you are spiritually protected. Some of y'all could feel that someone could be standing in the way of you being with some type of past life partner or some type of union. For some of you all, there is a connection that cannot, no matter, you need to have faith to understand that what God has put together, no man can break. No man can come between it. Some of y'all are sages. And some of y'all may be seeing owls during this time. Some of you all may have some type of connection to a pelican. And some of you all may be wanting to do some type of creative endeavor when it comes to the tree of life. This could have to do with some type of holistic holistic, um, holistic practice. For some of y'all, this has to do with actually past life a practice. Someone wants to do like uh, someone's gifted when it comes to interpreting uh, past life karma for other people. There's a need for you, all to, for you guys to push forward movement. There will be some type of stability that is coming in to assist you guys in moving forward when it comes to any type of lacking. So if you were lacking financially, maybe you were it was the financial aspect around why you couldn't manifest your ideas, that help is on the way here, okay? I do see someone or something coming in to assist you, and I do see for some of you all, it's unexpected. It's just things are assisting, are, are happening now to test your faith, okay? So let's get it. I don't want to use the damn cards. Not for y'all. My pedigrees. I just use those for Aquarius. I can't use them for my baby. Sage them or whatnot. I still need to <laughs> switch cards. Then what messages do you have for my beautiful vertigos in love for the month of June 2019? One more. What can they expect? Oh, in love. For the month of June 2019. Some more rivalry. Show me what it is for me to see. Right. Baby is falling everywhere, honey. Okay. So some of you all are walking away from a uh, from a from a situation that really have just really broken you the hell down. Some of y'all could be walking away from a water sign. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio or for some of you all you could have a walk be dealing with a situation where a water sign could have walked away from you to possibly reconnect with someone from their past I feel like this person leaves you in this space of illusion and disillusionment not knowing what the hell is going on not knowing how they feel some of y'all are dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius this person does not communicate well and what they're leaving you in this space of disillusionment about this person is toxic as hell some of y'all could also be dealing with someone who's juggling yourself um as well as a water sign. Some of y'all could be dealing with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person really don't know what the hell they want to do. They don't know if they want to reconcile with you or someone else from their past. Who else they had a damn toxic relationship uh, with. And for some of y'all, this could be the fact that they're juggling you and juggling trying to keep their shit together. So that someone is someone doesn't want to be exposed here. Some of y'all are juggling making a decision around a Capricorn if you want to heal the situation or not during the month of June. And some of you guys are in your damn head about completely releasing the situation, possibly with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could possibly be juggling yourself, okay, and your children as well as another family that they have. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who has two families. And this person runs back and forth. Every time she gets thick with you guys, they run back and forth to the other person. And some of you guys are going to change the damn locks and shut the windows and tell this motherfucker to stay outside so they can't look Flazzy. Some of you guys, um, some of you all are walking away from someone where there where there could be some type of toxic tie to possibly reconcile with the Gemini. Okay? Or some of y'all could be walking away from the sign of Gemini due to the fact that this person is a professional damn juggler. Some of you are some of you all are really in your head about reconciling with someone from your past. It's like one day I'm okay, I wanna do that shit. And another day you just like, no, I'm not with it. Some of y'all could also be dealing with a Capricorn, um, and I feel like this person may have some type of addiction issue. Some of y'all could be married to this person, and I feel like you're kind of in your head because you don't want to move forward, even though you will be victorious in moving forward. You don't want to move forward because you have some type of perception of how you how you will be perceived from the outside world as far as, like, it's something like someone wants to, someone wants to, 
someone is okay with faking the funk around a relationship with you and this Capricorn person. Some of y'all could also be just some it's okay. Some of you guys are making a decision to leave possibly a third party decision between uh possibly a Taurus and an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of y'all are choosing to leave, move away from a situation. Um Due to the fact that it's extremely toxic to you, you keep feeling as if you're being, you're being tied or pulled into somebody else's bullshit. Some of you guys are releasing a situation with a fire sign to uh, to offer your cup of love, possibly to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like you could have children with this fire sign. This person could also be a twin flame to you. However, I feel like you guys are not vibrating the same. Some of you guys are renewing the love. You're bringing the love back. You're restoring the love in your marriage, okay? You want to work on it, either you or the other person, okay? And some of you guys, some of you guys are going to make an offer to rebuild a situation or rebuild some type of foundation that could have been torn down possibly with the father and mother of your children, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Leo. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Taurus, Aries, um, I got Gemini in the building. I got uh, Capricorn in the building. I got... Um, cancer in the building. I got Scorpio in the building. But some of y'all are definitely dealing, uh, some of you guys, yeah, some of y'all want to, um, offer a reconciliation. This could also be some type of start over, or some type, or show, some, okay, I'm hearing showing. Someone wants to show you, Virgo, or you want to show another person that you've changed. You want to show another person that you could be responsible, or this person wants to show you that they could be responsible, that they have become the person who you wanted them to be. Um, you could have walked away from this person in the past, but I do see some type of reconciliation. Some of y'all are coming together to work on a situation with someone who could have been actually married, okay? But they could have been in a very toxic situation, and some of y'all could have been creeping in some type of third-party connection and find out that you're pregnant from the person who you was creeping with, okay? You and this other person could be attached to someone else, and there's there's talks about if you guys are going to keep the baby or not, okay? Definitely keep this child, y'all. This child is a blessing. This child is a star seed. This child will also come here with profit, with some type of like prophetic gifts. This child will possibly have a life path number of 33, 44, or 11. Some of you guys, this child is set to be born in the month of um, in the month of September, your season. Some of you guys, this child could also be being born in the month of December, and for some of y'all, this child could be born in the month of April. Or February. Let's clarify some shit. Why is the Emperor card here? Yeah, some of y'all could find out that someone could have walked away from you to go rebuild a foundation possibly with an Aries. You could be pregnant with this person's child. Some of y'all Virgo, this deep. Yeah. For some of y'all, the Emperor is here. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries person. You're very passionate about this person. There's a lot of passion you see. You have a lot of love for this person. And some of y'all really want to rebuild the foundation around the relationship. You are another person. For some of you all, the tower moment is a different perspective. How all balance can be. It's like we've already told this person what you need. Some of y'all, there's a Scorpio coming to bring a damn tower moment to you. This person wants to work on a relationship. They want to bring balance to it. They, they want to actually start over. They want to meet you halfway. They want to bring some type of structure. And for some of y'all, it's funny because it jumped out with the damn wild card and the five of pentacles. Some of y'all could have walked away from this person. But this person wants to come in and this person wants to come in and shower you with love, hot sex, uh, some type of financial abundance. This person wants to show you, okay? And some of y'all just could involve another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a fire sign. Why is the lovers here? Yeah, for some of y'all, this is about actually releasing yourself possibly from some type of twin flame union, or this could also be possibly from a Gemini. Focusing on your own independence, moving forward successfully. For some of you all, some of y'all could also be moving forward, moving, hearing a positive, positive news around your finances, some type of job. Some of y'all need to make a decision on if you want to be married or not, or whoever the hell you're dealing with needs to. Why is the hierophant here? Why is the hierophant here? Yeah. For some of you all, I got the king. So some of y'all could also be married to a damn um, Gemini Libra Aquarius. It's like you're making the decision to talk to this person. And I feel like it's going to cause some type of uproar. Some of y'all may make the decision to release it all together. It's like you love this person, but look, I love me more. You have destroyed my self-esteem. And I'm hearing this from somebody. This is somebody. You have destroyed my self-esteem. And for once, I got to choose me. 
But some of y'all, you're making it. Some of y'all, this could even be your children. I'm seeing some of y'all are very indecisive on to on, 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 on balancing out your world as well as your external world. And you're needing to make a decision to choose yourself because for some of y'all, it's bringing you some form of anxiety. Especially if these are adult children. Some of y'all dealing with adult children that are very manipulative, like they go victim mode. Spirit is saying, let me have them. The God said, let me have them. God want his job back, Virgo. Ooh. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? The devil came with the damn uh, with the hierophant. They came out together. So I feel with some of y'all, some of y'all dealing with a very toxic ass Capricorn or a very toxic tourist. And for some of you all, you are just gonna be dropping the damn with the ten of wands here. Some of y'all are choosing to drop the damn wands. I'm 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 done. I'm throwing, I'm waving my hands. I'm waving my white flag. I'm done with the shit. Okay. For some of you all in doing so, yeah. And I asked why the devil was here, and I got the Queen of Cups. So some of y'all could also be attached to a damn very toxic ass Capricorn or a toxic ass water sign, or this could also just be someone who you love. But you have to, you, you got to make a very executive decision. And for some of y'all, you're making this decision for your mental health and your mental peace and your emotional peace and your spiritual abundance. Because for some of y'all, this person has been blocking you as well as your life path and what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to be doing. You have to make a decision. Why is the strength card here? Why is this? Whoa, that jumped out quick. Yeah, some of y'all, this person could be a damn Leo. And this damn Leo, or you could be dealing with a water sign with this Knight of Cups here that came up under it. They could be sneaking out offering their damn love to a damn Leo. You're releasing the situation. I'm tired. I'm tired of being strong and being the only one offering my love for shit that's not going nowhere to keep repeating the same shit. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah. For some of y'all, this damn third party situation is causing you guys anxiety with this nine of swords. It's, ang it's anxiety filled. I'm about done. I'm like this fucking close to just throwing the whole situation in the garbage. Just throw the whole shit away. Okay? And for some of you all, this is about in doing so. Yeah, for some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all dealing with an earth sign that either you holding on to or this person is holding on to you. They want to reconcile. Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign that wants to come through and they want to show you, okay? And some of y'all dealing with a very toxic situation where I feel like it's tit for tat. Like, she, like, it's either you cheat or they cheat back or they cheat and somebody cheat back, all right? Someone, some, some of y'all are dealing with a situation where you're dealing with someone who doesn't know how to tell the truth. Some of y'all are dealing with a, with, a, with a habitual liar. Like, this person lies so much that they believe their own damn lies. And you have to make a decision for yourself and your own sanity in order to really, really stand up for your damn self. You know, what you gonna do? So let me give three, what's your best outcome? Best advice for Virgo. Get three cards. Best advice for Virgo for the month of June when it comes to their love life. Death card. Death to that bullshit. Walk the fuck away. This has to do with your transformation, Virgo. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Best advice for Virgo in love. Best advice. Best advice for my Virgos in love. Best advice. All right. I don't read reverses. The spirits say leave it. The eight of pentacles came out in reverse. Walk away from that shit. Don't put no work in in this bullshit no more. Walk away. Walk away so that you can walk away from the vibration of feeling as if you, I wish a motherfucker would. I wish a motherfucker. You don't have to wish a motherfucker would if you just walk away. Because the outcome of this, baby, in doing so, you stand in your power. You stand in your truth. You walk towards your passions. You walk towards what it is that spirit has for you. And for some of y'all, what you don't know is... What you don't know is, this is a blessing to release you from a situation that you've been internally holding on that has been stagnant in the first damn place. Okay? So this is what I have for you guys. I pray that this resonates with a lot of you all. I love you very much. And I will see y'all mid-month to show out. And I'm going live based on the signs that got the most views. So share it with a friend. And I love you long time. Bye, babies.